we are now going to look at cyber incivility. Now, while uh, in our day to day lives, in our actual societies, being civil is, is, is a very important human trait. In fact, I would go as far as to say that being civil is a trait which you know, actually distinguishes them or sets it apart from the animal world. Humans are civil. And that is why we say that you know, as mankind has evolved, the evolution actually meant that our societies became more and more civilized. Similarly, as you know, a, a virtual variant of our actual societies are cyber societies. And humans uh, you know, tend to exhibit certain kind of unique behaviors in those cyber societies. It is very important to have a civil behavior in the cyber world also. And, uh, and you know, uh, actively discourage and prevent any kind of cyber incivility. Cyber incivility uh, it can be defined as any behavior that violates social norms, ethics, or legal principles in the online environment. Cyber incivility can occur on various platforms, including social media, uh, online forums, messaging apps, uh, the comment sections, even through emails uh, and personal messages. Cyber incivility can cause harm to individuals, including emotional distress, uh, reputational damage, psychological impact, and when cyber incivility causes several harms to individuals, as a whole, it causes uh, several harms to organizations. Now, let's look, look at examples of certain behaviors or certain attitudes which qualify as cyber incivility. Cyberbullying, for instance, is one major example of an, of an, uh, of an uncivil behavior which we can uh, you know, exhibit in the cyber domain. Uh, cyberbullying includes any kind of uh, speech or any kind of text or any kind of audio or video which can uh, you know, be threatening to an individual or which can cause any kind of fear or intimidation uh, in, uh, to a certain individual. It can include you know, any kinds of negative comments or an aggressive behavior, even a passive aggressive behavior towards you know, someone's appearance, their life choices, their ethnicity, their sexual orientation, uh, and, uh, and you know, their day-to-day -day actions at all. You know? uh, so cyberbullying, bullying in general, is an uncivil behavior if it is done in uh, the actual physical world. And therefore, cyberbullying is one of the prime examples of a civil uh, incivility. Then trolling. Uh, now, what is trolling? Trolling is that let's say if somebody has posted a certain message or expressed a certain opinion in the online world, you know, that person is, as a result of that message or as a result of that post, is swearly, uh, you know, uh, is made fun of uh, or, you know, uh, or, you know, swearly uh, uh, made fun of or, or made, uh, made accountable for what they have said or is threatened as a result of what they have said. That is trolling. And if we carry out trolling, it is, again, pretty much like cyberbullying. Uh, and trolling too can at times you know, be a kind of cyberbullying. Both cyberbullying and trolling are some very obvious examples of cyber inst uh, incivility. Thirdly, an example of cyber incivility is hate speech. Now, what is hate speech? Hate speech is that, let's say, you know, uh, saying derogatory or negative or rude things uh, and uh, against a certain, uh, a certain gender or a certain religion, or a certain race, or certain personal characteristics, or a certain organization, or a certain country, or a certain individual, or a certain group. Hate speech uh, is something that can promote or encourage discrimination. It can promote or encourage intolerance, and at times violence. You know? And uh, now, as this hate speech is absolutely unacceptable in our day-to-day -day lives, because it can have very, very detrimental consequences. You know? Uh, it can a hate speech has the potential of you know turning a mob violent you know of making certain individuals attack certain uh, other individuals. So as hate speech can be very very dangerous in our day to day lives, any kind of hate speech when it is done in the cyber space is a major example of cyber incivility. Then uh, looking at furthermore examples of what can be an incivil behavior in the cyber world. 
doxing let's say is one of them doxing involves publicly revealing someone's personal information such as their address their phone number their email um, anything else let's say their grades for instance uh, or or you know their uh, their health condition for for that matter but it has to be done with the intention of harassing them or threatening them so uh, again you know the, the doxing comes very closely uh, clo in close proximity with privacy rights how a civil behavior in a civilized society requires that we respect other people's privacy similarly in the cyber world it is imperative that a civil behavior would require that we respect other people's privacy we do not reveal their personal details which can in any form you know harm them uh, lastly another example of cyber incivility can be harassment which again is an umbrella term you know which which covers doxing uh, which covers trolling which covers stalking which covers bullying you know so any kind uh, of repeated or unwanted online behavior which can intimidate degrade or humiliate someone else you know uh, and it could be uh, by it could be excessive through excessive messaging it could be through let's say uh, an apparently benign thing such as repeatedly tagging someone in a post it could be through creating a uh, fake accounts to impersonate someone else it could be you know through as i said through uh, explicit trolling or explicit doxing so any kind of an online harassment behavior is comes under cyber incivility furthermore any kind of disrespectful comments whether it is through online messages whether it is through reply of emails uh, and you know uh, any messages which can be insulting uh, which can be offensive which can be rude which can in which involve name calling which involves derogatory remarks which involve a certain kind of aggression or a bullying behavior uh, is it comes under uh, incivilized cyber behavior they come under cyber incivility then further sexting which refers to sharing explicit images or videos uh, you know uh, 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 of of someone without their consent at times is a form of revenge at times is a form of in inflicting humiliation uh, if, uh, also of course comes under um, cyber crime but at but at at a certain level you know it is again a major form of cyber incivility cyber incivility as it is obvious an incivil behavior it undermines positive online interactions it undermines healthy digital communities and it undermines productive online discourse uh a cyber incivility uh, you know prevents good digital citizenship and it it hinders responsible online behavior what we need to do is we need to at an individual level first implement ourselves and then preach uh and encourage empathy respect constructive communication uh as a tool for combating cyber incivility further we can uh, adopt certain mindful habits which can prevent cyber incivility we need to adopt them first ourselves then we need to adopt them at an organization level and then you know preach and promote that these are uh, you know implemented across uh, at a societal level which includes number 1 there is a need to have respectful communication whether it is through online messages whether it is through emails there is an utmost need and there needs to be a zero tolerance policy on uh, on you know on on not having uh, on having uh, an ir a disrespectful communication all communication even if it is something uh, there is a matter of conflict even conflict needs to be addressed through respectful communication then i think another responsibility which falls on on all of us is that we uh, it is our responsibility that we educate ourselves with regards to what proper cyber civil behavior is uh what is okay what is not okay so that we are ourselves unknowingly also not infringing on other people's rights on other people's boundaries on other people's privacy so it's it's up to us that we educate ourselves with regards to what proper cyber civil behavior is and then we move on and you know educate others lastly and very importantly before sending any online messages before sending any posts think before you do it think about its impact think if it is not done in a way that it is infringing on anybody's rights or if it if it falls under hate speech or if it can you know uh, if it if it can even borderline 
fall under harassment or bullying. So be very mindful, be very careful about the messaging you, messages that you're sharing, about the posts that you're putting on. Be very careful in doing so. Further, uh, as a good practice, foster positive online communities. You know, positivity only leads to more positivity. You know, therefore, encourage constructive discussions, report any abusive behavior, and support all those initiatives which are promoting digital civility and respect. Lastly, it's our responsibility to report and block. If you encounter civil inst uh, incivility, utilize reporting mechanisms available on platforms and within your organization to flag offensive content or behavior. Utilize blocking features to limit interactions with individuals who engage in, in cyber incivility. And know when cyber instability enters the paradigm of a cyber crime. And therefore, as responsible citizens, as responsible digital citizens, you know, it is your responsibility, it is my responsibility, it is our responsibility, you know, to take action, report such behavior and, 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 and you know, block any such behavior.